Welcome to MRJ Podcast. I'm your host, Rosario Felix, and I'm here with... Matthew Jones. And Jessica Bear. Today we're talking about The Godfather, which is a 1972 crime drama film. Um, we're just going to be adding some commentary, talking about what we thought about it. So personally, for me, um, that was my first time ever watching that movie. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, well, I saw I watched bits and pieces, but I like the whole thing that I did in class. Yeah, for me, I personally, I'm not really, those are not my type of movies. So if they weren't for like watching it in class, I probably wouldn't have watched it. But I thought it was pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was actually, I did get to watch the beginning during class, but I've seen it before. And I really like it because it's a lot about like the mob drama. And I feel like I don't watch a lot of movies like that, so I was really interested when I watched this one. Yeah, it was um, it was a pretty interesting. I didn't know what I was gonna like get into. Like I didn't know what I was gonna watch, um, but actually I ended up liking it because in the beginning I feel like it kind of went a little bit slow, but then towards the end is when it like everything picked up, and I was like, oh wait, like what is happening? Like it was just a lot going on at the same time. So. Yeah, but like boy. Same as you, Victoria. Yeah. I, to me, the, I thought it was gonna be boring. Just like the beginning, it was really slow, and I left like during the middle, and I came back watching the end. It was really good. Yeah, it was actually a pretty interesting movie. It's it's a bit slow in the beginning, but you'll end up being hooked up on it. I feel like a lot of movies that I've watched in the past that start off slow, like pick up, and then it gets like super crazy or like there's plot twists. And I think that's like what makes this movie like really interesting is that if you hang on through like the beginning of it, it gets really good. Mm -hmm. I like it, but then uh, not because I'm in the new generation and the movie from for me and the some ladies and ladies and I felt kinda suddenly be up that that girl. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it was good and bad. So that might take while watching the movie we did notice some concepts that we have learned in the class before and I think it was even easier just because we learned about all this stuff now. Now when watching movies I kind of like notice those things more than I would before I took this class. So for me, one of the first things that I noticed was the beginning of the film when they were kind of like zooming out and around the Godfather, the lighting, it was kind of, there's a lot of shadows on his face and like it kind of gave, like you said, it gave kind of like an eerie like feel mm -hmm. to, to him. Like a um, suspicious kind of yeah. vibe. Also kind of gave it like a powerful feeling to me. Like I was like, oh, this dude, he's like, He's like a he's, big deal. He's like a big deal, yeah. yeah. You, I feel like uh, right off the bat you can instantly tell that this guy's like the main character and that there's going to be like a lot of stuff going on with him because of like the, the yeah, like she said, the lighting that goes on. The film was set in New York and then I think it was also set in Italy where Michael went after shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot of B-roll shots of like just the nature and then like different houses and stuff like that. Yeah, and I feel like they did that to be make it like more cinematic kind of mm -hmm. because yeah. a lot of the shots that they did do, they weren't just like irrelevant. They were like actually like really nice and interesting shots. And I feel like you don't really see that in a lot of movies like nowadays because they kind of just like want to get to the point. They don't right. really yeah. do B-roll. And like back then, I think that they, you know, use B-roll like a lot. Right, and I think that's also kind of what made the film like slower was that they uh -huh. actually took their time to show like different, uh, it wasn't all just action, like there was like a few slow scenes and stuff, which I feel like, again, like you said, it's not something that we see a lot of film here now, because I think it's kind of like they're trying to keep the attention, Yeah. and I think that now people would think that, oh, doing B-rolls like that would make it kind of go slower and kind of like uh -huh. keep your attention away from you. Yeah. Now, the, I think it's about technology, mm -hmm. like in the past, we didn't have Technology, like today, like Facebook and TV, um, electronic, everything. They all, they only have like basic technology, like a microphone. And yeah, yeah. They don't have any like special effects right. or anything like yeah. that. 
It's very just like simple, like if you shot it with your iPhone and like right. so I roll yeah. with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna put <laughs> <your> <laughs> <pro>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And kind of going off of what you said about the um, things like you never noticed before, like taking this class, right. I kind of feel the same too, especially mm -hmm. with the B-roll, just because when I watched the film, I was like, okay, there's a lot of B-roll. But before, <laughs> I feel like I would have watched the movie and I would have been like, okay, whatever, I'm they're just showing saying, yeah. this. Like, I wouldn't have thought anything of it. I agree. Yeah. Right. So that's I think it's really cool. Yeah, that's also how I feel. Like, not even just with watching this movie, I think that with all of them, like, I'll catch myself once in a while being like, wait, there's this, wait, yeah. like, <laughs> I know how to do this. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's really cool about, um, like, learning all of these, like, concepts just because they are, like, really widely used by, like, all kinds of directors and producers. Right. So it's pretty cool that we also are knowledgeable in that way. Yeah. <laughs> so I was actually reading online the other day about uh, some of like the fun facts about like the movie um and i noticed that they said that the director for the wedding scene he shot he like ma let the cast act like freely and improvise like that entire scene because well. they only had two days to shoot it so the director like let them um kind of like do whatever they wanted and he just like filmed he never like stopped them to say like hey don't do this or don't do that and he did that just so he can keep it like very like flowy and more like make it more real honestly to me that makes a lot of sense because uh -huh. when i was watching that that wedding scene went on for really long yeah but i was thinking the whole time i was like this kind of feels like a home video like this feels like an actual like that yeah that I'm like i'm watching, watching someone's yeah. wedding right now <laughs> so it felt so like natural to me and i was like oh this i feel like this is really accurate to like italian culture maybe. Uh -huh. yeah. like, that's, that's kind of what it felt like i was watching yeah and i feel like it really did help like drive the story like visually just because um like it just makes it more real so right. you like it's not like staged and stuff like you see a lot of movies where there's like wedding scenes and like it's just like okay they're doing like very specific things and here it was more like natural i think so i think it just like helped make the story more like come to life kind of no we could see like the italian perspective like how they do one thing and they like my skin African Asian yeah. result Italian perspective. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like we were part of the Italian yeah. family. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so overall, I think the cinematography here was really cool, and obviously there were a lot of things, a lot of concepts that we learned about in class that kind of um, fit with this movie. But I also think there are some things, obviously, that didn't fit. The concepts that we've been learning about, the rules kind of that we've been learning about. Yeah, so I believe most of, most of the scenes there are a lot of rules broken. Mm -hmm. Like the head rule. Like if you see like on some scene, it, it has the camera is cut, cut into the head. Happy. So I feel like that I were broken. Yeah, I also noticed a lot of like like he was saying. I noticed a lot of scenes where like it was cut off, kind of like at the forehead too, uh -huh. and there was not much room, not much space here. Which I do remember, like you said, I do remember learning about that as well. So um, I would say that's one of the rules that was broken, I guess. But to me, I don't think there's any rules to break. I think that. Um, Films, there's what makes them special is that freedom to like be able to do anything. It's all creativity to me. I feel yeah, like. mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty interesting because, um, like I said before, uh, there's some things that we wouldn't have noticed before, but now we like notice it, and mm -hmm. it doesn't look like as natural just because like yeah, half their head is cut off. Yeah. It doesn't make make a film bad. It just kind of you know you kind of notice those things. Uh -huh. um, but for you guys, were there like some things that like. You're like, oh, this didn't really work out for me. I'm not really into this, or this is not really my type of thing. For me, um, personally, it wasn't anything like um, related to like how it was filmed. I thought it was actually pr filmed pretty good. I think it's just it's not my type of mm -hmm. it's not my type of movie. It's not something that I would kind of choose to watch. I think overall, just the storyline, it was great, but just not great for me. Not my type of style. Yeah, I think for me. Um I like movies that kind of like jump to the point. There is sometimes when I watch movies and I do like like the cin cinematography like 
you know, aspect of it with, like, the B-roll and, like, what we were just talking about. Yeah. But in this case, I feel like I was kind of losing interest, like, in the beginning of the film. Right. Um, so I think it just, like, took a while to, like, pick up. And in other movies, I, I had stated earlier, like, sometimes it's, like, a good thing because then the movie gets, like, super crazy or, like, whatever. But um, I think for this one, I, I think it could have just been, like, a little bit more, like, sped up or, like, a little bit less B-roll. But, right. I mean, it, the movie was still good. I think that was just, like, my least favorite thing about it. And honestly, I think that has to do with kind of, like, the way we do film now. Like, the uh, way we're used yeah. to watching movies now. It's like, we're always used to watching, like, so much action and stuff. And there's always something happening. Yeah. Time, like, and so. I actually just went to the movies and I watched this movie called X. It's, like, a horror film. Um, but it's set, like, from in, like, the olden days. Like, oh. like mm. the the 70s or 60s mm. and it kind of reminded me of like the same type of vibe um but even when they did have b-roll there was like little like easter eggs in the right. b-roll like little like oh shoot did you see that or whatever it mm -hmm. wasn't just like they were moving the camera and you were just like looking at a random clock like right. there was like a reflection in the clock so i think it's interesting like when movies do that not as much as like oh here's just like this random clock you're one point i don't get me wrong, the movie is more crazy, but... <laughs> We're all saying that. <laughs> just like one thing, I didn't like one. I forgot one, his name, but... And he would be a best wife, and oh. that really got to me, so... I don't know how that makes you guys feel. Yeah, for me that scene was honestly really hard to watch. To just see it like naturally like, thrown uh -huh. at you, I was just kind of like, whoa, like I didn't know. Mm -hmm. It was just like a really intense film for me. Yeah. And I think there's other movies too where they're like showing a scene like that, but like it, it'll it's like less... pan to like just like the outside of the house and like people, someone screaming right. and stuff. It's so they don't really show it. Yeah. And like then in this film it was very like very obvious yeah so overall i think the concept of this movie was pretty interesting i thought it was interesting how michael in the beginning he was kind of rejecting his family or like the way that his family was and how he didn't want to be like a part of that but towards the end we see him kind of um feel like when the godfather dies he kind of feels like responsible for it and responsible for his family so he kind of just goes into it mm -hmm. And that like obviously makes sense, but um, as like an audience, I feel like me personally, I was kind of rooting for him to just escape mm -hmm. like the family crime right. and just be like this better person. But then when you mess with this guy's family, like he's not gonna, mm -hmm. you know, it yeah. was like his fate. Yeah, he got me up then, and I believe he became when the Godfather because they, how, oh, at one point in the movie. They killed, they blew up at five and he decided to go in the mob to get like his revenge on the mob. So I think that would make, make it better. Yeah, I agree. I think maybe in the beginning of the film he kind of, maybe, well I'm just thinking maybe his way, maybe he thought about it as kind of like, oh you know I'm not evil like this, like I, I don't do things like this. Yeah. Um, as he was telling his, um, I don't know if it was his girlfriend or his wife, but I think that towards, like, the, when the film is going, he's realizing that it's kind of like, we're not just doing this, just, to, we're doing this for family, like, this yeah. is for yeah. our family, and we're protecting our family, and he kind of realizes that, and I think that's when he gets kind of, like, some sort of, um, pride in it, and he's like, you know, and after the Godfather dies, he's like, you know, there's nobody else, I, it's, yeah. it's my place to step in and take care of this family because we obviously have a lot of enemies and a lot of people that, you know, want to threaten it, so. And plus, I believe his family forced them to be the godfather. I think, um, <clears throat> I think a lot of people would have been like, oh yeah, like, good, you're gonna get revenge. But, like, right. personally, I just, like, how I just stated, um, I wish he could have just, like, you know, changed the game for, right. like, his family exactly, or, like, himself, yeah. you know? Because I, th I do think he had, like, a lot of potential. I didn't expect the ending. But, um, yeah, I mean, so as far as, like, for me, I kind of rate the movie, like, a 7 out of 10. Uh, mm -hmm. I really like the old, like, the old school stuff. Um, There's, like, a lot of things that I did like and, like, also some things that I found boring. Not that mm -hmm. I didn't like. I just, like, thought that it was a little bit boring. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. What about yeah, you? Yeah, so... For me, it was 
5 out of 10. <laughs> the beginning is what? The beginning and towards the middle it was kind of slow. Mm -hmm. Then all this I can. That I like. That I give it. That's why I give it like a 5 out of 10. I was going to say the same thing, a 5 out of 10, just because it's, like I said, like, it's just not my type of thing, it's not something that I would watch, but I think it's definitely a great film, and it's also, it's also been named one of the greatest films, so, yeah. um, obviously it's a very good film, but just probably, it's just not It's just us. not for us. Yeah, just not for us. Yeah, I'm but, sure uh, some of you out there might, right, like, exactly. really enjoy the film, but it wasn't our cup of tea. Those who are into crime, drama, drama type films. Mob. Uh, yeah. This is definitely the movie for, for you. you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I was your host, Rosario Felix. Jessica Vera. Matthew Torres. And thank you so much for tuning in to our MJR podcast. Um, what did you guys think about the film? Let us know. <laughs>